What's up everybody, we're back with another video. This one here is going to take you to new levels of indoor fun. This is one of those, if you can dream it, you can build it situations. Uh, we wanted to build a construction site and we wanted to have some fun with this loader. Uh, it's got the dump bed on it, it's got the front bucket. Uh, then we've got the um, forklifts for dealing with all the racking and putting stuff up in storage. And then we've got this little skid steer here with the front loader on it. And these are just incredible vehicles. So one of the things that was incredible about these was just building them in the beginning. You know, building all these different vehicles, building the racks, building the pallets, and going through and doing all of those things. That was so much fun. Uh, but the fun doesn't stop there after the build. After you get done building them, you get to play with all this stuff. And I think that that's the part that we need to highlight here. Now, I do want to tell you that we did 3D print all of this stuff on Bamboo Lab equipment. We're currently doing all of our 3D printing on an X1 Carbon and an H2D. Uh, all the filament that's used in this video is all Bamboo Lab filament. Uh, and I'm not sponsored by them. We just like their products. We find that their ecosystem is really easy to use and it's also very reliable. So it takes all the guesswork out of doing all this type of printing. Now at this point, I'm gonna say enough talking, let's get to and work. And show them how the bucket works. Pretty impressive, pretty impressive. And then I'm gonna do a little demonstration over here with this one. Pretty wild, has function of the bucket and then also the loader side functions. I mean, you can't ask for any better than this. I mean, these are incredible models. They work amazing, and we're gonna show you how well they function because we've got this whole pile of dirt here, and we're just gonna see what kind of a, what kind of a disaster we can make with it on this job site. So, Maddox, we gotta get this dirt cleared up, okay, buddy? Okay. So we're gonna see how well they work, see if they can actually do some work. Oh, well, that looks good so far. All right, Maddox, you wanna pick up some of that dirt and put it in the back of the truck for me? Doing good, okay. Look at that, oh, that is incredible. All right, Max, if you wanna try and put some of that in here, see how this works. Go ahead, flip up, come down. That is awesome, I can't believe it worked that well. All right, so we're having a really good time messing with all this kinetic sand. However, we do run into a few problems. Uh, mainly, the weight of the kinetic sand uh, begins to be a little challenging for the servo in the dump bed to function. Now, you can always go back and add a stronger servo, but in its current configuration, it really kind of struggled getting the kinetic sand out of the bed. Uh, the kinetic sand actually gets a little bit clingy, so as we try to dump the bed up, it does eventually lift up, but it just doesn't come out of the back of the truck. And then secondly, and this is also a pro Anacon, uh, but uh, working with the kinetic sand <laughs> created an absolute disaster out of this tabletop. So um, we did find a cleaner solution that functioned a lot better. Uh, and I'm just gonna go ahead and bring you over to that and let you see what worked out really well for us. So if you do any multicolor printing, you already know what this is. Uh, and this stuff, they call it uh, multicolor printing poop. Uh, it's the waste that basically comes out from uh, multi uh, from multicolor printing uh, when you change from one filament color to another. And we have a pile of it because we do a lot of multicolor printing here. So we found a use for it finally. Uh, and I'll tell you that it interacts perfectly with the cyber brick vehicles. It doesn't weigh a lot and it kind of simulates uh, really um, just a pile of mess. Uh, so there you go. Uh, I'm going to demonstrate how well it works with these vehicles. We're going to go ahead and take you for a little run, and we're going to get this. Uh, we're going to get this cleaned up, or maybe we won't. We'll see what happens. All right, here we go. Let's get this bad boy tested out. Let's see how well it functions. So scoop of this, and we'll bring it out nice and slow. All right, cool. Very very cool. So I'm going to try and move this over here. Now let's get ready to. Get a scoop of that. All right. Put that. All right, Max, go over there and get some of that, and let's put it in the back of this uh, loader. Wow, you got a bunch. Oh, 
awesome, man. Very cool. All right. Okay, Maddox, go in for a scoop. Looking good, buddy. Looking good. Doing a great job. Very cool. Alright, and take this back over here. Okay. Take our open top dumpster and we're going to see if we can load some of it in there. As you can see, these vehicles are more than capable of handling this type of situation. We've got all the power we need to take care of situations like that. So if you have any questions or comments about these Cyberbrick vehicles, uh, please feel free to reach out to us. We love talking about them. We've had a real good time working with them, making them, creating them together, and then obviously having these fun little sessions, building and, and creating and taking care of these, um, these construction sites. Now we're gonna do a little free for all. We're gonna go out there and we're gonna see how long it takes us to destroy this whole scene. Maddox, why don't you get the party started? Hope you've enjoyed it. Hit that thumbs up, like, subscribe. We will see you on the next one.